What is going down, my people? What is going down? I hope y'all had a glorious end to your weekend. I know, I know. For some of y'all, tomorrow is Monday. In actuality, for all of us, it's Monday. But some of us, you know, they worked all weekend. Tomorrow's like, that's, you know, part of a mini weekend. <laughs> uh, I only got one day off. I got to go back in for some training and some other shit. Um, so... Most of y'all have been tracking um, a lot of the shenanigans from this weekend um, from here on YouTube. Um, some of the stuff that Lou's been dealing with. Um, other YouTubers have been dealing with. And it's the, the same nefarious individual. I'm um, not going to mention him by name anymore because... Um, there's now some open law enforcement investigations and uh, pending civil litigation. So this will pretty much be the last video in regards to all the bullshit because now I'm just blocking it out. Uh, what I will say is he uh, made a video for me this morning and respectful, yes. Um, I extended an offer and a comment on that video to him. Very nice, pleasant, professional. Hey man, sorry about your wife and what she's going through. Uh, most of this is just good, clean fun. You just took it a step too far. It's what it is, dude. Um, we can joke, we'll just joke about other shit, what it, whatever it be. Put down my mysteryofspaghetti at gmail.com email address and hit me up. Let's talk about it offline, outside of all the eyes. Um, try to, you know, take some of those hot coals off. Um, he didn't threaten me, so he threatened me. He'd already be in custody. <laughs> There's consequences for that, and I think I think he understands that. Um, I always try to help situations out a little bit. Uh, yeah, we like to talk some shit here and there, but. Like I said in that video yesterday, dude, we've gone after Trey. Trey's gone after us. We've gone after Phil. I, I watched a couple of Phil's videos this morning. I threw him some props. Mad respect for you, Phil. Um, you're part of the family, man. We may have our differences of, of opinion here and there between all the YouTubers, but when it comes down to it, man, we all want, we all want to make that money. Um, This stupid shit from this weekend, unfortunately, it, it's only going to hurt um, one person and his family. And I wish he would heed it my warnings yesterday with the video. And I know he watched it and done what I suggested. But he didn't, and he continued today. So not only did he threaten one person but he threatened multiple people and now multiple people are talking to one another because they saw everyone else's videos and <laughs> it's sad and we're adults there's consequences for our actions I understand the different <laughs> criminal acts that were committed and the elements to those crimes so I know when stuff like that's been completed unfortunately there's that line in the sand you just can't cross you can talk some shit but there's lines you can't cross and a lot of those lines were crossed um, it's unfortunate because like most of us even though we may talk some shit we want to keep it lighthearted. We want to have some fun because we're all stuck. We're all stuck in this play, waiting for it to fucking play out, waiting for it to finish, waiting for him to cover, waiting for us to get paid. Like Phil says, every one of his videos, did, did shorts cover yet? So we try to throw some entertainment value out there of, hey, you know, let's have some fucking fun with each other. Some people react a little differently and they get a little emotional. Some people are going through some stuff in their life some people are completely full of shit 
unfortunately with a lot of that uh, you, you got to really take it with a grain of salt and i think the number one lesson that everyone should learn this weekend is don't involve your family in social media if you're going to be a public figure and a high profile public figure don't involve your family in your social media because they become a target willing or un it doesn't matter look at what they did to president trump's freaking family the entire time he was in the white house all the entire time he was running <laughs> man they harassed his son his youngest son everyone's fair game once you put your face up here and you associate yourself with different stuff it's what it is dude and yes you have a right to talk shit you have a right to say someone looks like a man you have a right yes yes you do does it mean you have class Eh, depends on how you mean it if you're normally a joking guy and it's cool yeah you know it probably doesn't carry as much weight if you're doing it to be mean and spiteful well, you're probably an asshole but there's some people that are okay with being assholes too stuff that should remain inside your home like medical conditions and stuff like that just take a little bit better consideration of what you want to release publicly especially when people are already questioning your integrity you've lied about so much stuff and most of all of us we've all heard that boy that cries wolf story and you get yourself to that point nobody's believing anything that comes out of your mouth and that's a fucked up spot to be in so with that being said uh there's some crazy shit cracking off in france right now apparently they had their their 2020 fucking election shenanigans you all can see my shirt yeah i have a mother too she bought me this i thought it was pretty cool you know i kind of pick and choose where i wear it because i don't feel like getting in a gunfight um but their shit is cracking off they went straight to fucking civil war over theirs so it's what it is bro it's the sign of the times We've seen this shit coming, going, coming, going, everything, you know, everything's backwards. What's up's down. What's right's wrong. <laughs> yeses or noes. Noes or yeses. <laughs> Black is white. <laughs> green is blue. Blue is green. Nothing fucking makes sense anymore. A lot of confusion going on uh, at this point in um, not only just our country, but around the world. And it's going to come a day when all of us worldwide we're gonna have to come together and say hey we gotta stop this we gotta stop this because we're allowing certain individuals the ones that happen to be you know balls deep in the stock market doing what they're doing to control the country to control the media to divide the world based on what they want us to hear what they want us to see what they want us to believe um, without getting too much into that because I, I, I'm i not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat. I'm an American. And that brings up a cool story. And uh, I kind of admonished um, the individual that brought it up. Um, Y'all know I work in law enforcement and uh, I was out in the field and this eh, probably six months ago, um, maybe a little longer. I, I don't remember exactly how long, but uh, I had a... a, a a black female approached me and asked me after we had a friendly conversation and you know developed a rapport she said <clears throat> i'm a supervisor with my agency i'm a sergeant and um she asked me why there are not very many black men and women in supervisory positions <clears throat> and I was, I was like hmm kind of looked at her and she kind of thought she had me there for a second and I said well as a matter of fact ma'am the chief that just left our department he was black but the better question you have to ask yourself is your train of thought automatically went to that you know what he was before he was black he was an American he was a United States Marine he was a law enforcement official and all of those matter before we start talking about color and it changed her perception. And that's what we have to start looking at when we look at one another. It's not Democrat, Republican, Black, White, Hispanic, Asian. That bullshit's got to go out the window. You're an American. Did you serve? What do you do for society to make things better? 
When I leave the house every day, my goal, not only as a law enforcement professional, but as a human being, is to make the world a better place than it was when I woke up. And it's little shit. Everyone always tells you it's the little things in life, the little things that you do that add up to greatness. It's as simple as putting an extra shopping cart away at the, the shopping center, picking up some trash as you walk by and throwing it away. Stopping, helping somebody on the roadside. That can be more dangerous now than it used to be, so be careful with that shit. But we need to get back to those basics of that's an American. That's not a, an African American. That's not a black American. That's not a Asian American. That's not a Hispanic American. That's a fucking American. And start with that. That's a father. That's a son. That's a brother. That's an uncle. They want to dehumanize us. They put us in masks, covered our faces, locked us down, wanted to keep us away from one another for how long? That was to dehumanize you. So you weren't seeing people's smiles. You weren't seeing people's facial expressions. That cost, whether you guys see it or not now, that cost. Let's not let these elite motherfuckers that are all up in our banks, the stock market, politics, divide us, dehumanize us. We got to get the hate out at our level and then come together and get them out at their level. So without jumping on a soapbox, because uh, y'all heard me preach for long enough today, um, I hope you, got, you guys have a uh, great night tonight tying off your weekend. You got everything done you needed to get get done this weekend and you guys have a glorious week uh lou already put the pre-market um video up so jump on there get in the comments check out what's going down for tomorrow put your input in there takes your input out uh, when it opens up i know out here on the west coast it's zero one but it depends on platform uh jump on there see what's moving use your head nobody's going to tell you when to get in nobody's going to tell you when to get out but i'll tell you right now if you when you do and if you do get in get out Make your percentage, make a little bit of make it make, make a little bit of feria and get out. Uh, don't linger, you don't want to get stuck. Um, the longer that money sleeps there, the less you can use it to uh, make money on other players like that. But you know, just use your use your skills. Look at what's moving. You start seeing something rip, and it may not be a lot, eight, 10, 12 percent, but set your numbers before you get in. Hey, I'm looking for a 10 percent bump. Jump in, make your 10 percent, get out, go back to bed. Um, but talk with each other in that thread. Um, as soon as we get back to like normal market conditions during the trading day, I'll start putting up a, uh, a post on Twitter like I had been doing. So you guys can drop your intel in there throughout the day on, hey, this is running. Hey, this looks like this is gonna take off because that was beneficial, but they started fucking with the market a little bit. And I think that might continue this week um, a little more than it has been because Powell is gonna be dropping another uh, interest rate increase. So. We shall see. Um, I love each and every one of you, even though, you know, we talk shit sometimes, you know, sometimes I get the better of you, sometimes you get the better of me, but I own that shit, you know, I'm an asshole, you know, like 90% of the time, um, and I'm okay with it. Somebody says, oh, you're an asshole. I was like, damn, I didn't think I knew you that well. Um, but, fuck it, only. Um, with that being said, I am going to grab a bite to eat, and I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna watch a little hockey, I'm gonna kick my feet up, and I'm going to enjoy my day off tomorrow. So if y'all have any questions, <coughs> excuse me. If y'all have any questions, you can drop me an email, drop a comment down below. You can send me a uh, direct message on Twitter. You can send me a direct message on Instagram. I'll get to those as, as often as I can. But you got to understand there's a grippy all out there. And when you guys all dump into the, the inbox at once, it kind of overwhelms me because I got other shit going on too. Um, like I said, coming out of this don't put your family on social media if you don't intend them to be a target i have three sons on twitter with me <laughs> they're men everyone catch that they're men my little ones you won't ever see pictures of them or otherwise I protect them and you should too there's a lot of evil out in the world so don't be posting pictures of your little ones on social media it is definitely not a conducive environment to protecting your family as well as uh, if you do or don't have a, another half. I mean, 
that's a hot button for a lot of people so uh don't even make it available man um unless you got really thick skin but even then everyone has a bad day so uh you don't want to have a bad day like someone had this all this whole weekend so um yeah hit me up and i'm sure i'll be on tomorrow we'll talk some shit we'll have some fun maybe there'll be some shit moving in the market maybe not i don't know i'm not the fucking stock market genie i have no idea are we gonna get fucked tomorrow we're gonna make some money tomorrow are, are the hedges gonna get fucked tomorrow are they gonna make some money i don't know i got nothing i'm looking at the same screens you all are so check out that that P, that that pm that pre-market uh video for lou get down in the comments uh if you you're looking to make a little bit of little bit of change here and there a little bit of money here and there um it's definitely worth a uh, a go if uh you got some cash to play with i know times are tight but uh that's a a good way to uh get involved if you guys haven't checked out uh christian yet on uh playing options um he's a great teacher he's got a discord to teach you guys how to um make money on options because a lot of shit now with it taking a nosedive you guys can make money on puts so I'm not going to get into that in detail. Christian does a, a great job teaching new investors. Even, you know, you've been in the market two, three years as a retail investor. You're still a new investor. So it'd be something good to get into um, and uh, learn from Chris. Uh, he's former Wall Street from a fund. <laughs> so he's got he's got all that knowledge to be able to get you guys set up correctly where you can limit your, your risk while you try to make some money here and there whether, whether it be on uh puts or otherwise so without further ado i will catch you all on the flip side mr oxygeti signing off <laughs>